easy, comfortable seated position. Set up nice and tall. My body is sore in every single area. I don't think I could be more sore, but we're still gonna get after it today. So sit up nice and tall. You can take lotus legs, you can take cross legs, you can take butterfly, whatever is comfortable for you in this moment. Bring your hands to your knees up to receive or down to ground. Lift your shoulders up towards your ears, let them roll down your spine. So keep your chest up and nice and lifted. Keep your chin level with the earth. Have a neutral spine, neutral body. Close your eyes if you'd like. And just breathe, be here. Root down into your sit bones, feel the earth beneath you, feel your root chakra at the top of your head, pulling upward towards the top of the ceiling, wherever you choose to, you wanna lift, so wherever it is, ceiling, sky, whatever is above you. Spine is nice and long. Try not to slouch. So sit up nice and tall. So vinyasa yoga, as you all know, is all about pairing your breath with your movement. So right now, check in with your breath. Right now, create that rhythm that you're going to use throughout the remainder of your class. I went on a two-mile run yesterday, which if any of you know me at all, uh, for me to run like a, five seconds is a horrible for me. Um, I've had knee surgery, so that's why. But I really... And the last mile was so hard. I literally started using my yoga breath, and I was like, "Wow, this is what it this is what it's like to get through this run with your yoga breath." So it actually really does work in other aspects of your life. So take a breath in and take a breath out. Maybe at this time, setting an intention for your practice. So a goal that you can set for yourself. Get through it. That's a goal. Try a new pose, that's a goal. We have a pose of the month, something new, that's a goal. So just something that will motivate you through to the end. Take a breath in together and take a breath out together. Inhale your arms up high to the sky and then exhale, twist to your right. So left arm on the outside of the right knee, right hand behind you. Use your fingertips, add a little bit of a twist here, pull, and then come on back to center. Inhale your arms, arms up nice and high. Take your right hand outside of the left knee, take your left hand behind you, sit up nice and tall and twist. And then come on back to center, inhale your arms up nice and high. We're gonna take a couple seated stretches first before we move into our practice. So change your legs, and get them in a butterfly stretch. So in butterfly, the closer your feet are to your body, the deeper the stretch. The further your feet are from your body, the easier the stretch. So that's how you can kind of gauge here. You still wanna sit up nice and tall. You want your knees to be pressing down towards the earth. So maybe you can use your elbows to press your knees down. Don't compromise your spine. And just stretch out your groin area. Just feel this opening up for a moment. And then when you are ready, go ahead and take both legs out wide to a straddle. So go ahead and sit here. Lift your arms up and reach for your right foot together. Now keep in mind your body is not warm and might be very tight. So take it slow. Don't go crazy. Your flexibility will come as you move through your practice. And then come back up to center and reaching for your left foot. Both hands. And then back up to center, drop your fingertips down and just walk them out one by one until you can't right down through the middle. And then bringing those hands back to center. So bring both feet in front of you like this. So nice seated forward bend. Inhale your hands high to the sky. And then exhale, reach for your feet. Maybe hooking your peace fingers around your big toes if you're able. Sit up nice and straight. So you, that means you want to sit the spine up. You want to sit the chest up. You want to bend the elbows, pull down. You'll feel it in your back.
And then from here, bring the soles of your feet to your mat, both of them together. Take the right leg up, cross it up and over the left leg. Nice little hip opener to start. Now the only way you can make it, or one way you can make this more difficult is just walk your left heel in closer to your left butt. And just feel that right hip flexor expand, open up the back of the hip. It's similar to pigeon. And then switch sides. So drop the right foot down, lift the left knee up, bend that leg, walk it all the way in, stretch out that left hip. And then just a couple more. So taking your left leg, so just watch me close. I know I'm the opposite of you. So taking your left leg, dropping it down like that to the earth. So you're just going to drop it down. Bring your right leg up and over, creating a twist. If you've ever done Bikram, you'll be familiar with this position. Now lift both arms up high to the sky. Twist to the right. You want to take that left elbow on the outside of that right knee and twist. Now come on back to center, switch sides. So taking the right leg, dropping it down, taking the left leg up and over. Again, sit up nice and tall, and then twist to the left. And then come on back to center. Nice work. You guys can all just come onto your hands and your knees. Finding your tabletop position here. Let me make sure. I think someone's not muted. So hold on. Let me just find you. So tabletop position here. And when you are ready, go ahead and drop your belly gaze lifts for a cow. And then round your spine. Press the earth away from you for a cat. So you're warming up the spine, right? Inhale, drop your belly, gaze lifts for cow. Exhale, round the spine, press the earth away, open up the shoulders for cat. Inhale for cow. Exhale for cat. Inhale again for cow. And exhale for cat. Let's do one more together. Inhale for cow. And exhale for cat. Take your knees nice and wide to the width of your mat. Sit your butt back to sit on your heels first. So everybody come here. We're going to drop our hands back behind us and just stretch out the front of our thighs real quick. Open up. And then now we can slowly come down into our extended child's pose. So we want to reach our arms forward, drop our forehead to the mat, close our eyes. Notice my elbows are not touching my mat. They're fully extended. My arms are completely lengthening here to get my spine nice and long. Now press into your palms to push your hips back to sit on your heels as much as possible. So you really want to take advantage of the stretch in this child's pose. Just remember too, if you ever need to take a break, if class gets a little bit too hard for you, you can always come back to this position. If you joined us late, we will be doing squats in our flow today. So they are optional. Just be prepared for them. Inhale your right arm high to the sky. Place it on your lower back, just like mine. Open up your shoulder. Inhale your left arm high to the sky. Place it on your lower back, just like mine. Try to grab for opposite elbows here behind your lower back. Get lighter on your forehead. Don't just let your weight drag you down. Open up that chest, grab opposite elbows. Now interlace your hands behind your lower back. Lift the hands up off of the lower back. Try to take those arms up overhead. Thread the needle. Open up these shoulders. And then dropping your hands back down to your child's pose. Inhale together. Exhale together. One more breath in through your nose. Everybody should hear their own breath. Breath out through your mouth. 
Inhale, slowly rising up to your tabletop position. Inhale, drop your belly gaze lifts for cow. Exhale, round your spine, press the earth away from you for cat. Coming back to your neutral spinal position when you're ready. Kick your right foot back, flex the right foot, lift it off of the ground. Take your left arm, reach it forward, spinal balance. I'm reaching forward with my left hand. I'm kicking back with my right heel. I'm lifting both ends to activate my back muscles. And then I'm just gonna hold for three, lift higher. For two, lift higher. For one, release, drop it back down to the earth. Switch, left leg kicks up and back. Remember, flex the heel. There's a difference between a flex heel and a pointed toe. Right arm reaches forward, palm is facing the side, not down, not up. Reach forward, kick back. Lift both ends. You wanna strengthen the back muscles, activate them this morning. It's Monday, start off strong, lift up higher, three. Lift up a little higher, two, a little higher, one, drop it back down to the earth. Inhale for cow, exhale for cat. Curl your toes under, downward facing dog, first one of today's practice. So lift your hips up, press your heels back, start to pedal it out one foot at a time here, opening up the body, feeling all the feels, First down dog, it's like, whoo, pump sore there. This feels good, this feels tight. It's like our first awakening in our practice. So kind of start to scan your body right now for areas that feel good, areas that you may want to explore today. And then also notice the areas that feel a little bit tense or a little bit tight. Maybe you need to back off of that area today. Maybe you need to just let it rest and just let it be. So just pressing into your hands, try to get your hips as high as you can towards the ceiling, and then pressing your heels down towards your mat. So making sure that your body is nice and straight. You want your arms to be straight, you want your legs to be straight. You want your head through your shoulders, feet should be six inches apart, they should not be touching, and you should be stretching out, feeling this active rest posture here. Take a breath in together, take a breath out together. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. One more. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, let it go. Bring your big toes to touch. Lift your right leg high. Bend the knee and open up the hip. So stacking the right hip over top of the left. Lifting your right knee towards the ceiling. Pressing your left heel down towards the earth. Squaring your shoulders. Try to open up your hip more. Feel the stretch in this hip. Now straighten out this leg completely and drop it all the way back down. Bring your big toes back to touch. Lift your left leg high, bend the knee, open up the hip. Same thing. Pressing the right heel down towards the earth as you lift the left knee up towards the sky. Lifting and stacking that hip, squaring those shoulders off. Don't let them open. Straightening that leg down and dropping it back down to the earth. Take a breath in together. Take a breath out together. Inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Straight leg walk all the way to the front of your mat. When you get there, grab opposite elbows, frame your head, fold forward for a ragdoll. So just allowing the pressure of the wrist to go away for a second. Grab opposite elbows, have your body be like dead weight here. Close your eyes if you'd like. If you have not yet set an intention in your practice, now is the time to do so. You can do it here, right here, right now. Drop your hands to the earth. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, tall mountain, rise all the way up, hands high overhead. Heel toe your feet to touch. Reach up for the ceiling. Interlace your fingers, release your index fingers, thumbs crossed. You wanna reach up for the ceiling and then take your upper body to the right, push your hips slightly to the left, not long, and then come back up. Inhale, reach up, try to touch the ceiling. Take your upper body to the left, push your hips to the right, not here long, and then come back up. Drop your head behind you, so head drops behind you. Push your hips and your pelvis forward. 
So head drops back, arms drop back, upper body drops back, hips and pelvis push forward, one more breath, and then release, come on down, hands to heart center, and then go ahead and fold all the way to the earth. Now inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, drop your hands to the mat for a high plank position. You guys have all been here before. If you're new to yoga, listen up. Drop your knees if you need to, not if you want to. There's a difference. Look forward. Wherever you are going, you want to put your drishti and set it there. So we're going forward. We're going to look forward. So look forward. Lower down. Create a shelf. Low, low plank. Chaturanga. Now inhale. Upward facing dog. I want everyone to pause here. You should not be on your thighs. The only things that should be touching the mat are your hands and the tops of your feet. Use your strength. Now use your core, push up and back, downward facing dog. Those thighs should never touch if that's what you're going for today. If you need them to touch to modify, then modify accordingly, but don't get lazy on me. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Inhale together, exhale together. One more breath in through your nose, breath out through your mouth. Look at your hands, walk or jump in front of the mat. Just a little warm up. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, tall mountain, sun A, rise all the way up, take a back bend. And exhale, forward fold, drop your hands to the earth. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to the mat, high plank position. Strong planks today. Look forward, lower down. Upward facing dog, breath in. Downward facing dog, breath out. Inhale together, exhale together. Inhale through your nose, and exhale through your mouth. One more breath in together. Open up the mouth, let it go. Look at your hands, walk or jump in front of the mat. Last time, halfway lift, fold forward. Inhale, tall mountain, rise all the way up, take a back bend. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to the mat, high plank. Chaturanga, low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Nice work, guys. Inhale, breath in. Exhale, breath out. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Inhale, one more. Open up your mouth, sigh it out, let it go. Look at your hands, walk or jump to the front of your mat. Halfway lift, exhale, fold forward, Utkatasana chair pose. So this chair is gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna have our feet six inches apart so that we can do a couple squats. So again, these are optional. Everybody take a look at the computer. If you are not doing squats, you are staying in your chair. You're holding it the whole time. You are going to be doing something. So sit your hips low, and when you're ready, if you're gonna do your squats, rise all the way up and then all the way back, that's 10, up and down, that's nine, up and down, that's eight, up and down, that's seven, up and down, that's six, up, down, five, up, down, four, up, down, three, up, down, two, up, down, one, back up, have a seat, hold this chair, lift your upper body, breathe in together for three, two, one, fold it forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana, a high to low push up. Upward facing dog, breath in. Downward facing dog, breath out. Big toes to touch. Lift the right leg up. Bend the knee, open up the hip. Stretch it out. Step that right foot all the way up in between your hands. Plant it down. Warrior one pose, rise up. All right, notice my right knee is in a 90 degree angle. And trust me when I say my legs are on fire. So if I can get there, you can get there. Push it forward, arms up. Take a back bend, hold it here. Three, two, one. Hands to the mat, flow it through. If there's a three-legged flow in your practice, feel free to play with that now. Inhale up and exhale back. Left foot lifted up and back, bend the knee, open up the hip, and then take that left foot forward, drop it down, warrior one, rise up. Nice work, guys. 90 degree bend in that left knee, arms up, elbows by the ears, 
Take a back bend, hold. Three, two, one. Hands frame at the front foot. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog, breath in. Downward facing dog, breath out. Breathe. Exhale. Breath in. Breath out. Inhale together. Exhale, let it go. One more breath. Open up the mouth, side out. Look at your hands, walk or jump. Six feet inches, six feet apart, or six inches apart of the feet. Halfway lift, fold. Come on down, chair pose, rise up. Ten, up, nine, up, eight, up, seven, up. Sit the chest up, sit the hips back. For four, for three, for two, for one. Come on down, hold this chair, hold it here. Five, four, three, two, one. Fold it forward, nice work. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, flow it through. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Right foot warrior one, rise. Back bend, hands to the mat, flow. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Left foot steps, rise. Back bend, hands to the mat, flow. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Look at your hands, walk or jump, front of the mat, six inches apart, halfway lift. Fold, rise up, chair pose, stand for 10. For nine, for eight, for seven, get that heart rate up. For six, for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Have a seat in that chair for three, for two, for one. Fold it forward, halfway lift, chaturanga, up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale, breathe. Inhale together, exhale together. Breath in through your nose, breath out through your mouth. Nice work. Inhale one more, exhale, let it go. Step your right foot to your hands, warrior one. Step forward, rise up. All right, open up. Warrior two, look over your front middle finger. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, right forearm to your right thigh. Right palm is facing up, alignment matters. Left arm is up towards the ceiling. Look at that left hand. If your teacher is not cueing you alignment and they're not telling you where to put your body, you may get hurt. You have to really focus on where your body goes and why it should go there. Right hand to the earth, inside of the right foot. Left arm reaches for the front of the room. Lengthen the whole left side body out. Now take your left hand up and bring it to your lower back. If your hands catch a bind, don't force the bind. There's nothing worse than forcing a bind. But if they comfortably catch a bind, you can step your left foot up to the front of your mat and join me for a bird of paradise. If they do not catch a bind today, stay where you are. Build there, the journey is half the fun. Lift up for three, two, one. Everybody meeting me back in a warrior two. Somehow, some way, look over your front middle finger. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, hands to the mat, high plank position. Stay with me. Lower down, low plank. Upward facing dog. Back to your high plank. Low plank. Upward facing dog. Back to your high plank. One more. Low plank. Up dog. Down dog. Breath in together. Breath out together. Left foot steps to your hands. Warrior one. Open, warrior two. Nice work, guys. Be proud so far. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Side angle pose. Left forearm, left thigh. 
Right arm up high to the sky. Strong legs. Now left hand to the inside of the left foot. Right arm reaches forward. Remember the goal is to reach, create a straight energetic line, stretching the right side body. Take that arm back up, bring it around to the lower back. Connect, and again, if there's a comfortable bind that's built here, step that right foot up to the front of your mat. Lift that left foot up off of the floor. Bird of paradise, try something new. For three, two, one, meeting me back in a warrior two. Strong warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Hands to the mat, high plank. Low plank. Up dog, high plank. Low plank, up dog. Let's go, one more, high plank. Low plank, up dog, down dog. Breath in together. Open your mouth, let out a big sigh, wake up your whole house. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale, breath in. Exhale, sigh it out, let it go. Look at your hands, walk or jump, front of the mat. Halfway lift, fold six inches, have a seat, let's go. Up and down for 10, for nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Have a seat. Bring your hands to heart center. Twist to your right. All right, that's 45, I believe. I'm trying to keep track. So we have a new pose of the month. Um, our pose of the month at Laughing Buddha is designed to be difficult. If it was easy, everyone would do it. So we want it to be something hard something that challenges our teachers as well as you guys. So this month is side crow. So from this twisted chair, I'm going to bend down and sit my hips on my heels. So if you wanna try it, step by step, we're gonna go through it. Now I'm gonna take my hands and I'm gonna drop my hands to the ground. Notice my body's still twisted, right? So I'm still in a twist. My hands are dropped to the ground. My knees, and I'll kind of turn a little sideways if that's easier. My knees are stacked on top of one another right here. So when I start to lift up, they're stacked. Now think of your arms like chaturanga arms. That's exactly how they're gonna be. So if you'd like to try it with me, you're gonna lean forward a little bit, chaturanga arms, and you're going to lift your feet off of the ground and take your side curl for three, two, one. Come on back and then fold it forward, nice work. So work on that at home. That's our posture of the month this month. Tag us on Instagram. We wanna see all of your variations. So feet are six inches apart. Take your peace fingers, hook them around your big toes. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Elbows go towards the back of the mat. Just to breathe, actively pulling, stretching out those hamstrings. One more breath. Exhale, let it go. Drop your hands to the earth. Feet are six inches apart. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Have a seat here. We're gonna do another 10 squats. Ready? Go. 10, up, nine, up, eight, up, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, have a seat. Bring your hands to heart center and twist to your left. All right, let's do it on the left side. So again, step by step, bend your knees. Drop your hands down to the earth. Stack those knees. This side's harder for me. So we all have a dominant side, right? We all have a non-dominant side. So set your drishti, set your balance. Remember, chaturanga arms. Lean forward and then slowly lift your body up. For five, four, three, two, one. Come on back to the earth and fold forward. Nice job, guys. I see a couple of you. Some of you don't have your video on, so hopefully you're trying it with us. All right, forward fold. Feet are six inches apart. Stand on your hands so that your toes come to meet your wrists. 
Just breathe, pull yourselves down, elbows go wide, weight in the toes, lock the knees. Three, two, one, drop the hands down to the earth, Malasana Yogi Squat. So walk it out, have a seat. Nice little yogi squat here. Hands to heart center. Use your elbows to press your knees out. So you wanna open up your groin area, right? And just pause here for a moment. This is where we're gonna be right now. I don't know about you guys, but I am drenched. I got sweat all over this place. Nice little workout today. Just breathe for three, two, one. Drop your hands in front of you. Come into your tabletop position. Inhale for cow and exhale for cat. Curl your toes, downward facing dog. Inhale together and exhale together. Breath in through your nose. Breath out through your mouth. One more breath, inhale and exhale. Look at your hands, walk or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, tall mountain, rise all the way up. All right, who's ready for some balancing? So, try your best. Inhale, your arms up overhead. Right arm under, right leg up and over. Wrap it around. Eagle pose, right side. Don't think too much. Just get into the posture. Your body will figure it out. Sit low, sit back. Let your hips get lower towards the ground. Now inhale, lift your right knee up high to the sky. Exhale, kick it back, bound airplane. Eagle arms stay, flexing the right foot. Hands to heart center, left hand to the earth, right arm to the ceiling, half moon, balancing pose. If you want to take it further, reach back, grab your ankle, candy cane pose. Your left foot should be on fire at this point. If you feel that, stay in it. Three, two, one. Drop your right foot down to the earth. Shake out your left foot. That's the sensation that you should be having in that foot right now. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, tall mountain, rise all the way up. Take your hands high overhead. Eagle, left side, left arm is under. Left leg comes up and over. Your balancing postures create a lot of awareness within your body. They force you to focus. They force you to slow down. Many of us can go, 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 go. Look at life right now, but when we're forced to slow down, it's like we have no direction. So set your drishti, use your breath. Lift your left knee up towards the ceiling and then kicking it back, keeping those arms bound and those eagle arms, flexing the back foot. Hands to heart center, right hand to the earth, left hand to the ceiling. Half moon pose. If you want to take it further, reach back, grab for your ankle, candy cane for three, two, one, folding it forward, letting it all just hang here in this forward fold. Nice work, shaking out that right foot. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, tall mountain, rise all the way up. Take a back bend here. And then exhale, forward fold, drop your hands to the earth. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana, high to low push up. Upward facing dog, breath in. Downward facing dog, breath out. Inhale together. Exhale together. Inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. One more breath in through your nose. Breath out through your mouth. Bring your big toes to touch. Lift your right leg high. Bend the knee, open up the hip. 
If it is in your practice to flip your dog, go ahead and flip your dog. If you have a flip dog, where is the furthest that you can take this posture? Can you get into that wheel? Are you, maybe he's just new to yoga and you just want to flip and just stay there. Wherever you are, hold. Three, two, one. Come on back, keeping the right leg up in the air behind you. Nice work. Right knee, right elbow, bring it in. Kick it back. Right knee, left elbow, bring it in. Kick it back. Right knee, uh, right wrist, bring it in. Kick it back. Right knee, left wrist, bring it in, hold it there. Three, two, one, kick it back. Knee to your nose, cheetah pose. Drop that foot down, crescent lunge, rise up right away. Don't think, just do. Drop it down, lift up. Let's go. Work those legs. Right knee 90 degrees. You guys with me? Yeah, we're here. Inhale, take a back bend. Shoot off of the back foot at the front of the mat. Ukatasana, let's do 10. End up. Nine. Up. Eight. Up. Seven. Up. Nice work. Six. Up, five, up, four, up, three, up, two, up, one. Have a seat in this chair and then fold it forward. Inhale, halfway lift, chaturanga, hands to the mat, high to low push up. Move quick. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe. Inhale together. Exhale together. Breath in through your nose. Breath out through your mouth. Bring your big toes to touch. Lift your left leg high. Bend the knee, open up the hip. Flip your dog if it's in your practice. Let's go. Fullest expression here, guys. It's Monday morning. You start lazy, your whole week will be lazy. You start strong, your whole week will be strong. Lift the hips. Three, two, one. Come on back. Left leg up in the air. Left knee, left elbow. Back. Left knee, right elbow, back. Left knee, left wrist, back. Left knee, right wrist, hold, three, two, one, back. Knee to nose, cheetah pose, crescent lunge. Step forward, drop down right away. You know we're not here long, so get into it. Here, take a back bend. Step to the front of the mat, last 10 of today's practice. Sit the hips. Rise up for nine, end up, eight, up, seven, up, six, up, five, up, four, up, three, up, two, up, one. Sit here. We're going to transition a new space. You ready? Don't touch the ground with your hands. I want you guys to sit, sit low as much as you can and come right into your Navasana. Boat pose, rise up. Hands to heart center, Russian twist, twist 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift your chest up, lift your arms up. Straighten out your legs as much as you can. Lower, five, four, three, Two, rise up. Lower, five, four, three, two, rise up. Lower, five, four, three, two, rise up. Nice work. Lower, five, four, three, two, rise up. Last one. Lower, five, four, three, two, hold it two inches. Squeeze for five, four, three, Two, one, release, hands overhead. Stretch it out, nice and long. Get your breath back. Nice work today. We're not done, so don't run out on me yet. Just breathe. Just breathe. All right, so if you're working on headstand, handstand, forearm stand, any of those variations, feel free to take that nap. 
If you are taking plow pose, you're gonna kick your feet over your head. I will take plow pose with you because I love it for my spine. So you're going to kick your feet overhead, put your hands on your lower back, straighten out your legs as much as you can and just allow those legs to fall back. Now notice mine don't touch the ground. I'm very sore today, I'm very tight. It's not a competition. They don't have to touch the ground, but you should feel this in your spine. Tuck your chin in towards your chest so that you can feel the lengthening happening here. And just breathe. If you're in a headstand, hold your headstand for the duration of when we're in here. If you're in a handstand, same thing. Forearm stand, same thing. Now take your feet, stand them on the ceiling for shoulder stands, so creating a straight line, walking your elbows closer towards one another as best you can, getting your feet higher than your heart and your head, helping that blood circulate through the body. Now drop your knees, right knee, right ear, left knee, left ear, Deaf Yogi. Spine still lengthening, still getting long. You're still breathing. And then slowly come out one vertebrae at a time, all the way out onto your back. Keep your knees in towards your chest. Rock up and back a couple times here. So all the way up, all the way back, same thing, all the way up all the way back and then one more time all the way up and then slowly making your way back to your downward facing dog all right we're here down dog nice work breathe in breathe out in now together and exhale let it go bring your big toes to touch lift your right leg high bend the knee open up the hip Half pigeon, right side. Step that right foot forward, drop it down. If you took any class in April, you know this pose because our pose of the month was Barbie. So allow yourself in pigeon to feel tension. Allow yourself to open up. Tension, there's a big difference between tension and pain. So that little bit of stress that you feel, your hip is welcoming this stretch. It needs this stretch. This is one of the best postures for your body. So just allow yourself to be in this position for just a few moments. I'll tell you when to get out of it. If mermaid is in your practice and you would like to take any variation of it, feel free to come up into that and do that now. And then when everyone's ready, find your hands, slowly make your way back to your downward facing dog. It's so amazing how your body feels. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but how I feel at the end of my practice, like it's like I'm a new person. Bring your big toes to touch, lift your left leg high, bend the knee, open up your hip, half pigeon, left side. Same thing, allow yourself to come forward and down, allowing your hip to open up and expand. Sorry for the noise. Every day, someone in our development is building pretty much an entire new whatever. So I'm pretty sure that's a driveway right now being put in. Hopefully it's not too loud. And 
and again, embrace the tension, try to lay a little bit flatter maybe, let your hip muscle open up, let it expand, that sciatic nerve stretching it out. One of the best things for sciatica, other than just stretching, is just sitting with your feet up the wall. So if you experience sciatica pain or just uncomfortableness, discomfort, feet up the wall is a great, great posture to try to alleviate that, along with pigeon. Finding mermaid, if you want to take this further, any variation. And then finding your way back to your downward facing dog. We're not done yet. We have a couple extra postures. So take a breath in and take a breath out. Step your left foot to your hands. Turn and face for a straddle. So nice wide straddle. We are going to take frog. So listen closely so that you can get the most out of this posture. And again, just look at the screen. I'm gonna turn sideways a little bit. So in frog, you wanna immediately come down to the insides of your knees. Whoa, way uncomfortable. It's supposed to be uncomfortable. It's one of those uncomfortable postures, I think, in the entire practice. So if you see my body from the side right now, my knees are, my insides of my knees are down. Look back at your heels. Your heels and your knees should be in a perfect 90 degree angle. And your hips and your knees should be in a perfect 90 degree angle. So you should not be like this. You shouldn't be like this. You wanna have everything neutral. How you make it more difficult is separating your knees further apart from one another. So once you're in the position that you're like, all right, I'm, I'm good, I feel the tension, just come down to your forearms and just allow yourself to be in this posture for a moment. Try really hard to find that alignment that I explained, that 90 degree angle. Don't compromise your form here. Now, if you're able, I want everyone to take their knees and separate them one inch further apart from each other. It's amazing how much one inch can make you feel. And just breathe. Again, embracing the tension embracing the discomfort. Just breathe. When I teach in the summer, I teach a bunch of NHL players on Monday nights. If you take my class, you probably see them coming in as you leave. And I do this every class for five minutes. I keep them in this frog. And after about minute two, it gets pretty real in this frog. You start to think things. A couple moments left, guys. You got this. Try to hang on. Your legs are going to be the most fluid they've been in a long time all day today. Your hips are going to love you. They're going to feel good. All right, so to come out of this position, you just want to slowly come up to your hands and then just move one knee at a time, but move slow because that's a serious, serious hip opener. And then once you have yourself back together, you can go ahead and come to your mat. Have a seat on your mat. Nice job. That was intense. All right, have a seat on your mat. 
Again, seated forward bend. So extending your feet out nice and long, walk the meat off your seat, pull it all out the way. Inhale your arms up nice and high, and then exhale, reach for your feet. So nice, long seated forward bend. Remember, straight spine, chest up, bend the elbows, pull down. There is a huge difference. If you see my body, this versus this. This is active, this is stretching, this is lengthening. Just breathe here. All right, now slowly coming down to your backs, all the way down. Bringing your right knee in towards your chest with you on the way down, and then taking that right knee over to the left side of your body for a supine spinal twist. Planting the right hand and the right shoulder into the mat here. Look over to the right hand. You want to make sure those two points of contact are still touching the earth. And then just opening up that lower back. And then when you're ready, come on back to center. Drop the right leg down. Bring the left knee in towards your chest. Give it a nice big pull. Same thing with the right hand. Pull it over towards the right side of the body. Looking over your left shoulder this time. Left hand and left shoulder, those points of contact, are pressing into the earth. Making sure that they stay that way. Look towards your left hand. Create that lower back stretch, opening up those muscles. Relieving any last minute tension that has not left through today's practice. And then coming back to center, catching the inner arches of your feet for happy baby. So rocking from side to side, massaging those muscles all around your back and your spine and your hips and your shoulders. Making sure you do this like eight or 10 times. So don't just rush through to get to the end result, right? It's a journey. So taking this happy baby, doing it maybe three more times side to side. Probably the longest happy baby you've ever done in your life. And then once you are satisfied with that, now go ahead and find your savasana. So feet, edges of your mat, palms by your sides, facing up, shoulders relax, glutes relax, everything starts to melt away. Allow yourself to surrender. Your savasana is the most important part of your practice. It's the, it's the part where you reflect, where you think, I don't even feel complete unless I have a savasana in my yoga practice. So take this time. You have your to-do list, you have all of those things that you need to get back to as soon as this class is over, but it's not over yet. So this is still your time for yourself. Relax your jaw, remove your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Make sure your eyes are closed. Let every muscle in your mouth and your face relax. And again, at the end of practice, I like to just read you something little. So just open up your ears as you're here. I saw this last night and I was, I really liked it. It's definitely yoga, yoga related. It's not as inspirational, but it's a nice reminder how to get flexible. Step one, forget about it entirely. Step two, commit to a four year lifelong ish yoga journey. We need to experience deep transformations we couldn't have conceived of let alone imagine we'd accomplish them. Step three, look back years later and see just how much flexibility you've gained only to find that you no longer even care about it. You laugh at the flat fact that flexibility is what brought yoga into your life. So that's just a very nice reminder that 
it's so much more than being flexible and the shapes that we can make with our bodies. However, the only thing that can really get us to be stronger or more flexible is just consistency. That four year long journey, it does not happen overnight. When you're ready, just start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Roll your ankles, roll your wrists, bring awareness back into your body. Go ahead and take a deep breath in through your nose. Open up your mouth, side out, let it go. Bring your knees into your chest, give yourselves a hug for your practice today. And then rock over to a side of your choice. Enjoy that. Like I said, once we get back in the studio, you know I have to pick for you. And then slowly coming up to a seated position when you're ready. So having a seat on your mat, Sukhasana. Bring your practice full circle. We'll close it with a breath together. So bring your hands to heart center. Inhale together. And exhale, let it go. Bring your hands to your third eye, forehead center. The light in me honors and sees the light in each and every one of you. Have a great, beautiful day and week. I will see you tomorrow. Namaste. Bow forward. Great job today, guys. Give yourselves a clap.